of the top overnight developments that have come in. Russian forces have entered the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson. Ukraine still controls the city administration building, but according to reports, Russian forces appear to have seized control of the city itself. So another city that's fallen to Russia overnight. Canada has ratcheted up pressure on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine by shutting ports to Russian-owned ships. Canada has announced a slew of measures to isolate Russia, including imposing sanctions on Russian President Vladimir Putin, closing Canadian airspace to Russian planes and banning oil imports. And overnight, U.S. airplane manufacturer Boeing has announced that they're suspending support to Russian airlines. Boeing will no longer provide any support, and this is in terms of parts, maintenance, or technical support for Russian airlines, as well as major operations in Moscow after the decision of Ukraine's invasion by Putin. Many companies following suit. Motor giant Ford also has suspended their operations in Russia. The motor company has a 50% stake in Ford Solars, a joint venture between the American automaker and a Russian company Solars. Uh, Ford has also announced one lakh dollar donation for Ukrainians and their families who have been displaced during the invasion. Late last night, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced that British troops will not fight Russian forces in Ukraine and recent reinforcements were firmly within the borders of NATO members.